these books are meant to be something you can read incredibly fast. I mean, to be honest, we haven't road tested them to see how long each one takes, but it's not very long. focusing on stories that are enjoyable and as readable as possible rather than the most classic stories that people already know and I think that's kind of an interesting feature of the series. We shouldn't gloat though. I don't think we should gloat because no one likes a gloat do they? It's true that probably only Penguin can do it but I don't think we should say that. You can discover all kinds of authors you might never have come across before because the stakes are so low. You, know, you can pick them up, you can eat them like a giant packet of crisps. There's no, point, there's no point at which you would stop if you have a really massive packet of crisps because you just keep going and the same with this series. Oh yeah, well another, oh god yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah, yeah well, maybe, maybe that's my top one. Lyudmila Petrushevskaya. It's a nice thing about doing 50, <laughs> you know, even though we could have done more and, and maybe we will do more, who knows, but I think that we've been able to not just have to include the most famous writers, you know, the most well-known modern classics writers, but think about, well, who, who, who are the best short stories writers and who are the most exciting and innovative and interesting.